Day 6 of 18 in 2018 is all about getting better bumps and finding an alternative to the old favorite, the flash button. You know the drill, let's back up our show and rename it to reflect the day. If you're coming to our workshop late and want to play along, take a second to download the show file, including all of our updates from yesterday, from the link in the YouTube description or at my website, consultrainer.com. I don't know if any of you have been exploring the show file outside of these videos, but you may have noticed this flash button on Executor 1.115. If you don't have any cues going, it doesn't do much. That's because this cue is actually a color and position bump intended to be used on top of another cue in our simple sequence. If you want to see it, play through to cue 3, then give the bump a try. You'll see that it takes the floor quantums to a new position and color. Like all flash buttons, the look is instantaneous when we press it and goes away just as quickly when we let go. And there's a lot of times where that's exactly what you need. But what if you wanted a different crossfade speed on this bump? Well, a flash is going to ignore any fade or delay times you have and try to complete the look as quickly as possible. What you can't see in this cue right now is that I've put some delayed timing on this look, which is being overwritten by the flash mode. So let's change it. Go into the Assign menu for this bump and change the functionality of the button from a flash to a temp. You've probably already used the temp option on your faders before. It allows you to have your crossfade speed follow the speed that you move that fader. Since this button has no fader, telling it to be a temp is going to make this button act like a flash key, but one that respects the timing of the cue. So now, if I press this bump, we can see the delayed timing in the position. When I let go, the cue turns off in a zero count, but that's only because the current off time for this cue is zero. If we change the off time to something like one second, then the next time you bump the temp, you'll see a slower decay. So for us operators, our muscle memory for hitting the bump remains the same. Press when you want it to fire, release when you want it to turn off. The difference here is that we can make it a little more graceful and possibly a little more interesting.